ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Um, today is Friday the 26th of March and episode 2 of Falcon and Winter Soldier released about 11 hours ago. Um, it released just before I went to school so a bit of a tough look there so I watched it just before I went, been thinking about it during school, came back been thinking about some more so in depth review here and yeah um, I'm going to review rate and just point out some other information that might be useful to you but yeah let's get right into the review of Falcon and the Winter Soldier so we start off with the repercussions of episode 1 sorry about this my hair's fucking nuts um, but we see John Walker, the new Captain America, who looks a lot like the Captain America in the Marvel's Avengers game. Um, we see him have an interview with Good Morning America uh, out in the middle of a football stadium. Uh, we figure out he's the only man to have three medals of honours and we figure out he has way above average speed, intelligence, strength. Um, he might be a super soldier, we don't know because this series will be a bit confused at the start we know later on in the episode why the super soldier if he is a super soldier or not will be confusing uh, but after this we hear Sam's going on a mission because Red, Red Wing has found something about the flag smashers Bucky has come along to criticise Sam about giving up the shield Obviously Bucky doesn't know that Sam never intended for that to happen. He just wanted his shield to be presented in a museum for his legacy. Obviously that didn't happen because the US government betrayed Sam Wilson. Um, we see them go on a mission. Red Wing has identified them. Uh, obviously they, well, Sam thinks it's one of the big three android alien wizards. Bucky says the wizards don't exist, but if you look at WandaVision, they do. The Scarlet Witch and Agatha Harkness, who's a witch. Uh, I think this implies that this took place before WandaVision, because they would have known about it. We see Torres, who, if you didn't know, will take up the mantle of Falcon, uh, like he did in the Marvel comics. We don't know if he will in, in Marvel, in the MCU, when Sam takes the mantle of Captain America. Um, we see Sam and Bucky have another stare down that we saw in the trailer. Um, it's kind of cool with Bucky thing of him just doing this. But yeah, um, Sam jumps out. Um, Bucky won't let. Sam call him Buck because that's what Steve used to call him and the reason he said is because only Steve calls him that and Steve would have a plan where Sam doesn't Sam does have a plan but does not tell Bucky he just jumps out we need Bucky jump out and a reflection to Captain America the First Avenger he jumps out of something at about 200 feet and survives but this time it will caught on footage by Red Wing uh, we see that when they're going to the warehouse they're looking for, uh, the flag smashers are stealing vaccines, which is a bit too relatable to today's world. Um, we see that occur, they go and chase them, they think one of them is hostage, but actually it's the leader. Um, if I'm being honest, I can't remember the leader's name. Um, fuck. Let me actually find it out for you. Uh, Flag Smashers leader. Uh, Carly Morgenthau. Morgenthau, I don't know. Um, she pretends to be a hostage. They have a fight. Bucky and Sam are kind of getting their asses whooped. And then we see Chris Walker, or Captain America, and his friend Lamar come in to save the day, which they kind of do. Um, 
they get away with the vaccines, the flag smashers. Um, Sam saves Bucky. They roll about half a mile to the right into a field. Uh, Red Wing is destroyed. But the move on. Um, we see him just walking down the road, uh, having a bit of banter. Chris wants them to get into the car. They won't. They refuse a couple of times. Then they get in. Uh, we find out that Chris has jumped onto a grenade four times where Cap has done it once. Um, Lamar is John's partner, a bit like how Bucky is Cap's. So we'll see a lot of similarities between Lamar and Bucky. Um, and then Bucky kind of gets aggravated over Lamar saying Battlestar. Which I'm guessing that was Sam's, not Sam's, uh, Bucky's role before. Um, yeah. Obviously, we see Bucky and Sam go and see the uh, Isaiah, who we find out is a super soldier, who is also black, which is pretty cool. But I'm guessing he got arrested around 50, 1952 because black people in 1952 were all acceptable back then. He got jailed for 30 years. Which was unlucky. Um, I guess, like you said, that's what happens when you're a hero. It don't matter. If you're, if you're different, you're off. Bucky gets arrested because he misses a therapy session, court mandated. Um, Chris Walker releases Bucky because he's a valuable asset too high a valued, valuable asset to keep in ties. Uh, we see a therapy session where they uh, Bucky opens up about the shield and how it's uh, Steve's legacy and how he just threw it away. Uh, Sam says he thought that was the right thing to do but obviously we know that isn't that much because Bucky's right it is Steve's legacy he's put 100 years hundred years of that nearly a hundred years like anyways um, and then we get on to something that Bucky loves to do the most uh, they have a staring contest Obviously, Sam loses that one because Bucky is used to just doing the... But, we find out that they're going to squash the beef and when they're faced with the flag smashers, they're going to go their separate ways and never see each other again until the next Avengers film. <laughs> um, they're going to do that. Um, Chris, waiting outside, wants to work with them. They refuse because of free agents, whilst Chris will have to go and get some authorization for it, so it won't bounce out well. Uh, so Chris, his final warning is don't get in my way. We'll see what he means by that in the upcoming episodes. Now this is where the episode gets interesting. Bucky starts to elaborate on something he's been thinking of, and he thinks it's finally time to go meet with Helmut Zebo to figure out about the super soldier serum because some of the flag smashers have the super soldier serum themselves including the leader who I won't say their name again I'll just call him Carly um, and it ends off with Helmut Zemo in a cage in Siberia and then it cuts to black so that, that's kind of the rundown of the episode what do I think I think the connection between Bucky and Sam was very cool, very just intertwined, very natural as well. It didn't feel like a script that much. It just felt like themselves, if you know what I mean. Um, the villains, I don't get why they're trying to make the villains relatable. Just have them the villains, make them hated. Just, that's how simple it has to be. The villain is there 
for you to hate them, not for you to have an emotional connection to them. You want them to lose, not win. The villains need to lose. You need to feel glad they lose, not the glad, not glad that they don't lose. That's why the villain, that's why the heroes are there. Build a emotional connection with them, and then when they lose, you can cry like you did Infinity War. But with the villains, you don't need to fucking do that. Yes, it works with some of the people. Thanos, Joker, they work. No one else does, because it doesn't make sense, and it's not how you do film. Oh. But anyways, this episode was really strong. The story is building up nicely. I like that it's only six parts, so there's no real, there's no room for letting off the gas here. So it's all just uphill, not how it was with One Division, where it's like nee 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 nee. It's just straight up trajectory. Not bumpy fucking rocky mountains. <sighs> but if I give this episode a rating, let's find that out. I'll get the results for you. I'm gonna have to give that an 8 out of 10. Hold on, let me fix that for you. 8 out of 10. The camera's flipped, so I have to. Never mind. Um, yeah. I feel like they could improve on this. Um, they're going to. Obviously, last episode I rated a 7. This is an 8, so I expect episode 3 to be an 8.5 or a 9. I don't really make, rate much stuff a 10. I think the only thing I've ever rated a 10 was Southpaw. So, yeah, um, that is my review of Falcon at Winter Soldier. Um, that will be coming out today, Friday, 28th of March, 26th of March. Um, Obviously, right now as I'm recording this, the Justice League trailer is just released, so I might do something about that. I don't know, um, but yeah, this is the Falcon with a Soldier review. Sorry, I went off a bit of a tangent about the villains. I just need to get that off. It's it's uh, it just makes sense for me to say it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, take care and peace. I'm just messing with you. I'll catch you later, guys.